You go left, you go right, kick. It's ding, 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 yeah, but I never said that one. You just do body rhythm. No, I was doing, I was doing, I was doing that. that was straight from Thriller though. Because, ah, Shuma. Ah, it's that. Jackson. I think he's a national superstar, but you saying that facts yet? <laughs> <laughs> that was Martin Freeman's breakout role in the British version of The Office, but more people first discovered him in the U.S. for his roles in Love Actually, The Hobbit, and Fargo. Now he's back in a role that's brought him even more acclaim and even more fans in Sherlock. Our Alex Wagner sat down with the actor recently in New York. Where are you off to? I'm already late. When it comes to building a cult following, I'm going on an adventure. Actor Martin Freeman always seems to find himself in just the right places. Be it Middle Earth. Excuse me, but just in case you haven't noticed, there is an army of elves out there. Fargo, North did, Dakota. Did you really kill him? Sam. Oh my God. Is Sam dead? Or working alongside the original Michael Scott there in a is. UK office. Tim Canterbury, good man, the Canterbury Tales. <laughs> is there a difference in the way that Americans and Brits understand humor in your experience? I, yeah, a little bit, I think. I mean, bearing in mind, you know, like a lot of British people, much of our favorite comedy and humor is American. It, it just has been. It's more likely for an American to straight facedly say, that's hilarious, that. That's so funny. That, you know what I mean, that thing. Whereas we'll just go, oh yeah, great, you know. I've had that from Americans. That's really funny. That's really clever. Are you all right? Perhaps his biggest success to date has been Sherlock. Sherlock, it was here. I swear it's Sherlock, it must, it must. Where he plays Dr. Watson alongside Benedict Cumberbatch as the famed detective Sherlock Holmes. No, it's not! It's not okay! I saw it, I was wrong! Certainly in the UK, it hit immediately. And it was like sort of a band coming in straight in at number one sort of thing. People loved it. Good night. Freeman can play a huge range, from sweetly endearing... <laughs> oh! ...to oh. downright awful. You gonna hit me? How do you approach roles of otherwise despicable people? Mm and get to a point where you can imbue them with some kind of pathos. I think when I was younger, when I would hear actors say, you should never judge your character. But I think it's your job as an actor to give your character the best shot they can have, rather than underselling them. That's my thing always, is play people with some humanity, because every single person has it. What the hell are those things? This range comes not just from the scripts themselves. What's gonna happen? Same thing that ought to happen to you psychological evaluation and extradition. But from Freeman's wellspring of emotion within. Do you really want to know what I want to do? Yeah, okay. I'd like to kiss you. I read an interview you said once, nice, decent guy casts a long shadow. Talking about, <laughs> I think, in the, the years after the office, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. And yet, other interviews <laughs> describe an air of simmering discontentment <laughs> and very angry man, someone that yeah. has these emotions are underneath the surface, you know, and uh, as they are with yeah. us all. Yeah. Do you I, find I, it for, I mean, tell but me. But for me, they're not even beneath the surface. <laughs> but I mean, like, a, a lot of the time, they're not beneath, they're, not, they're the surface. That's the surface. The, right. You know, the top, the middle, and the bottom. You know, I'm same as everybody else, I guess. But it, I, know, I know even more so than a lot of people. I do have quite a well of um, anger and discontent. And that's not something I say glibly or lightheartedly. Sure. I sort of wish I didn't have that. Mm -hmm. But I know it goes in the work somewhere. I know it, you know, if, for whatever um, strengths I have or don't have as an actor, that's in there. Getting any sleep? Price now. But as he begins the year with a new season of Sherlock, Martin Freeman is feeling one thing most of all, fortunate. Like most people would say, if you are lucky enough to work in something that you would do for free, and have done for free, and will do for free again, if you are paid handsomely to do the thing that you love, well, you know, you better not <laughs> complain too much about stuff. Sounds like a good gig. It is a good gig, yeah, it really is. Where's my latte? <laughs> 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 I'm really looking forward to the Sherlock, uh, new Sherlock season. It's, it's a great show. I like the advice he gave to make your passion your profession. Yes, you can see it. if you can do that, that's the, that's the secret of life, I think, right?